What's up guys, it's Underworld Times with another story. Six people have been charged in Australia after New South Wales police seized a record haul of cannabis at a rural property in western New South Wales, with an estimated street value of nearly 67 million Australian dollars. In 2019, detectives from the New South Wales Drug and Firearms Squad, assisted by the Australian Criminal Intelligence Commission, established Strike Force Heart House to investigate the cultivation and supply of cannabis across New South Wales. As part of ongoing inquiries, detectives executed a search warrant at a rural property near the Newell Highway in Dandry, which is about 35 kilometres north of Coonabarabran, thought to be used for the large-scale cultivation of cannabis. During the search, police seized over 19,000 cannabis plants, which had an estimated street value of nearly 66.8 million Australian dollars. New South Wales Rural Fire Service volunteers were called in to burn the crop on site. Drug and firearm squad detectives were assigned throughout the operation by Arana Midwestern Police District, the Dog Unit, Central Metropolitan Region Enforcement Squad and officers from across the state's western region. Six people, which included five men and one woman, were arrested and taken to Dubbo and Coonabarabran police stations. All six, aged between 23 and 42, were charged with the large-scale cultivation of a prohibited plant, knowingly taking part in the cultivation and participating in a criminal group contributing to criminal activity. Investigators are working with the Department of Home Affairs regarding the visa status of the group. Since its beginning, Strike Force investigators have charged 51 people, which included 48 men and 3 women, and seized 69,654 cannabis plants, valued at more than 217 million Australian dollars. The previous largest cannabis cultivation haul, part of the same investigation, was a $40 million crop on the mid north coast in October 2020 in which 5,593 cannabis plants were seized along with 39 pounds of dried cannabis worth a combined total of 16.9 million Australian dollars.
Drug and Firearms Squad Commander Detective Superintendent John Watson said the alleged seizure of more than 19,000 cannabis plants, weighing about 11.5 tonnes in total, is believed to be a national record. About 90,000 square metres of land has been illegally cleared at this property to make way for more than 20 greenhouses containing cannabis plants at various stages of maturity. A lot of money has been invested into the property, which we allege existed purely for cannabis cultivation. In terms of scale, this is one of the largest and most commercial cannabis enterprises we have seen, with significant infrastructure including two large dams, commercial generators, earth moving equipment across multiple sites, all of which require attention from workers seven days a week. This particular cannabis crop has resulted in the yield of around 11.5 tonnes of high-end cannabis. This was a sophisticated processing plant with the sole purpose of preparing the commodity for market. State Crime Commander Assistant Commissioner Stuart Smith said police continue to see organised crime exploit regional areas for cannabis cultivation as part of their business model. These types of operations have no regard for the environment or local community and are utilised by criminals only because the crop cycle for cannabis is relatively short, which can mean a quick source of revenue if successful. Make no mistake, if this operation was not dismantled, the cash sales from this crop would have flowed through poker machines of regional clubs, pubs and casinos across the state then sent offshore or used to fund other criminal activities. Investigations under Strike Force Hardhouse are continuing.